everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message that I recorded on February 26, 2024. I'll be using the Healing Waters Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. There's a front of that box cover now off camera. As I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. Oh, and we've got a popping out today for us. Look at this beautiful card. Do you resonate with the imagery on that card at all? What about the colors? Colors hold meaning. Colors hold energy. Anything repeating in your life is a sign and synchronicity to pay attention to. What a beautiful card indeed. These light pinks, prisms in there, some rainbow prisms within the image. Just a very beautiful and powerful image. Thank you is the name of the card. Gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. We can all have a little bit more gratitude. Being grateful and thankful for the things that we already have in our lives. Even as we're trying to attain more, if we so choose, even if we have big dreams and goals for our life, remembering to always have the thankful and grateful mindset for whatever is already currently in your own life. That is only going to attract even more to your life by living from that state, that high vibratory state of positivity. Let's get into the booklet here to see what Rebecca had in mind when she created the card for us. All right, let's see here. I have to find it. It is in, it is in order here, and I hope, anyway, let's see. This one, for some reason, doesn't seem to be in the order that I would assume, but here it is. Okay, everyone, we found it. All right, not my words, friends, okay? This is accumulation of Rebecca's hard work, okay? However long it took, it could have been years in the making even, as she collaborates with others, not only to create the beautiful cards, that we're focusing on here, but also the message in the booklet that she wanted us to get from the card, all right? Her intention for the card specifically, and we'll get into it. Not my words, friends. Water is life. Maybe you can hear the bubbling of the aquarium behind me, and even see the fish back there. Those are little baby Senegal Bashirs, okay? kind of an eel type of fish. They actually are millions of years old and they have this ability to also breathe air, not only from gills, but actually gulp air as well. Very interesting. So if you're drawn to that in the background there, if you have interest in fish, in Senegal, Bashirs, as I mentioned, the name of the type of fish, go ahead and do your homework, all right? Everything is a sign and synchronicity for us, okay? So let's pay attention to those, and maybe somehow the aquarium in the background is a sign and synchronicity, a message for somebody meant to receive it. Let's get into it here. Water is life. Wherever there's water, there's life. It's the ultimate blessing. It's the thing that sustains us the most. Life is impossible without it. And yet most of us take water for granted. In our busy modern world, it's easy to become disconnected from the truly sacred things that are supporting and sustaining us. I am getting baptism, okay? So maybe somebody here is getting ready to be baptized. I am getting adult, okay, an adult baptism, all right? Maybe that's you, maybe that's somebody you know, all right? 
So if you indeed have gone through the process of baptism, are going to be going through the props process of baptism, there could be a message for you here specifically, all right? And I know, and this is a slippery slope, but I am being encouraged to bring up the name Doreen Virtue. To many of you in the community, the spiritual community, specifically tarot and oracle cards and that, may know who Doreen Virtue is, right? And those that have adopted and have an extreme belief system that's focused around Christianity, Jesus Christ, and also maybe not necessarily being in support of spiritual practices such as these, right? And I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not here to tell anybody that their belief systems are incorrect. You need to do what's right for you, all right, in your life. I'm uncertain of why all of this is coming forward, but for someone, you're meant to hear it, okay? Maybe you're being asked to step away from the spiritual community and get baptized and proclaim your love of Jesus, your Christianity, and push away anything that isn't of the Bible, okay? There's certainly a place for that for individuals that choose that route in their life. There's nothing wrong with you if you want to be a Christian. Jesus Christ was a wonderful man, all right? The Son of God, as they say, okay? A messenger, all right? An example of how to live life, okay? I'm always inspired by Jesus, all right? My roots are actually in Christianity, in fact. However, if you're wrestling with the idea or the need to step away from spiritual practice because it doesn't align with your Christian practice and you're here today or you know somebody that is to be baptized in that faith, this is your sign and synchronicity. This is your message that it is okay. You do what you need to do. You go where you need to be led, all right? Here on my channel, I don't look down on anyone for their belief systems, nor am I in any position whatsoever to tell you that one belief system is better or more righteous than the other. That is for you to choose for your own life. And when we all transition to the other side, it'll be made perfectly clear. For now, I would encourage you, all of you, to live by the golden rule of treating others how you'd like to be treated, all right? Very interesting message coming through. That's a very specific, okay? Let's get into this message a little bit more in the booklet here. All right, life isn't possible without it, and most of us take it for granted. In our busy modern world, it's easy to become disconnected from the truly sacred things that are supporting and sustaining us. To take the simple things and the people closest to us for granted, assuming that they'll always be there. Sometimes it takes the threat of going without something for us to realize it's even there. To truly appreciate what we believe, we must, we could not go without. To truly appreciate what we believe, we could not go without. This card is an invitation to reflect on and appreciate those things that support, that support and sustain us the most, from water to loved ones. What are you most grateful for? Who are you most appreciative of? How are you being called to offer thanks? How can you honor the things that hold you the most? All right. How can you honor your belief systems, okay? What choices and changes do you need to make to your life to live in the way that 
that most suits you, that most calls you. And if that means stepping away from certain practices and belief systems, addictions, actions, whatever it is, then you're being asked to do that today, okay? And moving forward, because today is your day and now is your time. We're not promised tomorrow, friends. Yesterday is done and over. May you take those lessons and apply it to today and also moving forward. Maybe you're being, you're addicted to card readings and that, okay? And I apologize for the background noise as my dog is whining and complaining as he's in his kennel currently, all right? And maybe that's something that resonates for you somehow. Maybe you feel trapped in your belief systems. Maybe you're wanting, maybe it's the other way. Maybe you're currently entrenched in Christianity so deep that it doesn't feel good to you anymore. And you feel caged by the belief system and you want to step away. These are only examples, okay? You have to find what it is for you in your life and you have to be willing to accept it, that you're being called to go in a different direction, whatever that is for you, and step away from what you've been continually doing, right? Choose a new path as you're obviously being led, okay? Very interesting read today. I haven't had one yet in the almost year that I've been doing this that is basically anti on what I'm doing, okay? However, I don't make this stuff up, friends. I'm only saying what is coming to me Okay, even if it is against what I am doing here on the channel, it's important that I bring this message forward to those that need to receive it. Even though I know in the Bible, Christianity doesn't approve of tarot, of oracle, of divination, okay? I understand where I'm being led. I understand when a message is important. So I'm bringing this forward today, okay? Interesting, very interesting. It, it isn't for me to judge, okay? As my dog really brings that forward even more for us and, and confirming it with his whines of feeling caged. Let's get into it a little bit more. This card is an invitation to reflect on and appreciate those things that support and sustain us the most from water to loved ones. What are you most grateful for? And I know I just read this, but I feel like I need to repeat it, okay? Who are you most appreciative of? How are you being called to offer thanks? How can you honor the things that hold you the most? When we open our eyes to what's truly holding us, the way we look at our lives changes. And the more things we give, the more abundance we realize is there. The more we honor those who give to us, the more connected to life we feel. And offering thanks is a way of giving back too. When we acknowledge the support that we have in our lives already, we are more easily able to see the sacred that's woven through it all. Soul inquiry. What are the most what are the most thankful for in your life that you have may have overlooked? What are you the most thankful for that you may have overlooked? And maybe it is your belief system and your faith, all right? Maybe you overlook how strong your faith is, all right? Very interesting read today. And if this is for you and you are questioning whether you should continue watching tarot videos, oracle videos, divination videos of any kind, if you're wrestling with that, if it makes you feel bad, then yes, absolutely stop. This is your message and confirmation today to step away and to take a break from it all and my son seems to be getting upset with my dog, right? And for me, that really confirms how touchy a subject religion and belief systems can be, right? People can be sure to say no 
to something that they don't necessarily understand or believe in. So you might even be encouraged to go and educate yourself further on different belief systems, whatever it is for you. But specifically, I am getting today, which is very interesting and ironic and a little bit odd to tell you the truth, that I am encouraging whoever you are to stop with the spiritual practices for now as it relates to tarot, oracle, divination, or anything else that is making you feel uncomfortable because of your belief system that you are so thankful and grateful for in your faith-based system that has always supported you. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow where you're being led, where God is guiding you. And this isn't it. Okay. Wow. What an incredibly powerful message indeed. And for everyone else here, if that's not your specific message, please know that you can apply this to whatever it is in your life. What are you thankful for? What are you grateful for? And how does that keep you going each and every day? All right. Spend some time in contemplation today because today is your day and now is your time. And if you'd like to take inspired action, end this video now and cease to watch any type of videos that have to do with divination. Cease any type of activity that has to do with divination if you are feeling like it isn't right for you any longer, okay? And go back to the Bible, go back to the prayer, seek God directly, okay? There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. This is your confirmation to stop. Have a beautiful day, everyone. What an interesting read. I thank you for staying with me. I appreciate you for all of your support. Have a great day. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be and walk in those belief systems that support you, that you're thankful for, that you're grateful for. Believe and have faith. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Join me again for yet another collective energy message if you feel so called. Bye-bye.